Hi, I'm Vicki Caldwell, and I'm on staff here at Park Cities Baptist Church working in the adult ministry. And I'm here with my friend, Cheryl Morgan, who is the founder and owner of Move Method. And today she's gonna share with us some tips on right-sizing and getting our homes in order for the top of the new year. And so Cheryl, wanna welcome you today and thank you for being here. Thank you, Vicki. Thanks so much for having me and letting me um, share what we do and, and why we do it. Um, our, our mission for our business is to take the stress out of moving by delivering turnkey services that allow our clients to walk out of their old home into the new unpacked and fully furnished. I founded Move Method after my own experience right sizing. I saw a need to serve others, not only by coordinating the moving process from start to finish, but providing emotional support, which is a component of moving that many clients do not anticipate. So Cheryl, your company has done three moves for my family and actually hundreds of moves for people that I know. And then you and I have both right-sized when we were in our mid-50s to smaller homes. So would you share with our audience a little bit about your own experience of right-sizing? Sure, sure. Um, I've been through it twice. Uh, the first time was with my parents. That's kind of how things got started. Uh, moved my parents from Houston. They'd been in their home of 45 to 50 years. Mm -hmm. Health needs changed. Got to crisis mode. Moved, moved them in a crisis, which I do not advise doing. Do it when you can have some control. The, and then the other time was with my own self when we, we, our son was going off to college and um, our family was not needing the house, the largeness of all that and the encumbrances of it. And so we, we took care of that at that point. That's great. So um, that was a great time. What does it mean to right size? It's, it's just adjusting to an optimal size in order to meet changing needs and functional demands. How do you know when it's time to right size? So typically we kind of encourage people to look at these three different categories. Number one, significant changes. Um, needs, functional demands change, lifestyle, health. Number two, increased stress, too much stuff, you're feeling overwhelmed. Number three, concern from others uh, in the way of family, friends, uh, or possibly own caregivers. So of these three, Cheryl, one, two, or three, which do you see most from your clients? In the um, middle-aged years, we see falling into phase one and two perhaps wanting to travel more, get out of the stress of the house, uh, running a house. Um, and then with senior adults, we tend to see more of that phase of an, an urgency that's brought about by uh, a family or friend or caregiver sure. noticing some things. Right. Makes sense. This is a fun little activity. It's called Right Sizing Bingo. Um, it's okay to cover every spot. So uh, we kind of uh, ask to see if, if you need right sizing, uh, if, it's, if it will work for you, check the box, if you, and then you know I'll allow y'all to just kind of read those at your leisure. I would say my top three um, that we see, these are real things that we see, is that top left one. Um, your pet has more grooming supplies than you do. Um, another one that we see a lot is uh, having a box of cords that you have no idea what they go to. And then probably a runner-up for my top three would be you own pants and they're in your closet that have crunchy elastic waistbands. Or um, when you can't allow someone in a guest room or something. <laughs> Why right size? There are countless benefits to right-sizing. You have less stress, more joy. You'll reduce your mental clutter. Uh, visual clutter is mental clutter. More free time. Your family will thank you. And uh, it's best to do it now while health is good uh, rather than wait till later. 
So Cheryl, if someone has made a commitment that's watching this video today to do one little thing, whether it's clean out one drawer, one closet, it could be the whole house. What could they expect in this process to start with? Okay, that's a, that's a very good question. Uh, let me explain to you how uh, our process works. So this is kind of our method that we use to organize right sizing into three different phases. We start with the space planning, mapping out the new space, determining what items will move with you, coordinating where the items should go. Then we move on into move management, pre-move, uh, prep, filing address changes, utility transfers, packing, coordinating the moving logistics, which are many. And then we move into phase three, which is the project installation, where we're unpacking, setting up the new space to reflect your own personal style and strategic organization. So you may ask, what can I be doing now? Um, we've got a little tip sheet there as far as a uh, way to declutter in 30 days, one day, one space at a time, which can be a little bit daunting to do, so we don't suggest you tackle all that at one time. But I would suggest you pick, say, maybe a top three and get started um, so that you can um, bite the elephant one bite at a time. When you're organizing, it's best to ask yourself these questions and, and be very realistic. This is what we, we do when we work with clients. We ad, ad ask, do you need this? Do you need it now? Will you need it later? Do you want it? Is it something that you want or does a family member or a loved one want this? If so, let's gift that to them at this time rather than waiting till later. Function, am I going to find a use for this or does it still work like it should? So Cheryl, a funny story. I have a friend that just helped her mom, mother-in-law actually move from her home and she found 100 lipsticks all over the oh house, my. scattered over the house. Um, what are some of the craziest things that you have found over the years of clients that have uh, collected or hoarded that you could share with us okay. that might ring true for some of us? That I can share. That's a good question. <laughs> that you can share. Um, well, we've done this for seven years now, and at times we do think we could kind of write a book. Uh, we Many I'm times sure. we go home and with laughter, or, um, <laughs> but I think one of our, our most favorite was really one of our first clients. She had saved all her daughter's uh, Six Flags animals in the attic, so they had kind of crumbled and lost their fur and she kept saving them because she knew that her daughter, who was in her 50s, would want them. Mm -hmm. And I reassured her that they, she would not, but what we did is we took care of, um, we sent, took a picture and sent them to the daughter and then Joanne was able to make her selections from that and she selected three uh, memorable ones. That's great. What can you expect when you're right sizing? Um, each client comes with their own unique set of goals and challenges and outcomes. So um, these are four things that you can expect to kind of go through unexpected emotions. There may be tears, there may be some anger that's displayed. Uh, it's okay to feel those. Uh, you know, you're relinquishing some control and letting go of things. So there are emotions that go with that. I encourage you to be realistic in your expectations and um, not try and keep everything or keep everything that's sentimental. Uh, ask yourself again, is it sentimental now? Uh, the rewards that you see are countless. Uh, the, the topic of the, your whole retreat is joy. You will find a lot of joy in that. And you will also have the reward of giving your, your family, uh, unburdening them from having to make decisions in the future. These are just some samples of our uh, gallery of work. These are actual clients and um, just how we have um, 
honored their space. We've incorporated things many times from all over the house. You know, we, we do a lot of interviewing, asking them what, what they did in their travels, you know, what, what they did professionally so that we can tie things together but um, and just do it in a tasteful way and an eye-pleasing way. So... Well, thank you for encouraging us to take a hard look at what we own and how we use things that are in our home. And I'm going to look, uh, we're going to look hard at this 30-day declutter that you've given us in the bingo. So thank you for that. And um, this is something that would be a great thing to start off the new year. So thank you. All of these resources are, go are going to be on this uh, right here, you'll see how to contact Cheryl if you need some help quickly or you wanna plan something out for the rest of this year. And um, we hope that you'll use these resources throughout the year. So right. thank you, Cheryl, for coming. You're welcome. Well, thank you for having me. And uh, we love what we do. I have a, a large team that we work with. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I encourage you to um, go to the bingo, have some laughs, dig in to maybe top three for the declutter during a month. Mm -hmm. And if you start to feel overwhelmed or get stuck, we're as close as a phone call for help. Thank you. <laughs>